Honestly, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is shopping for clothes because I think that um, that is a really important step in becoming very successful, I think. Um, Um, I know that some suits can be very expensive, so you just have to look around um, for sales and know what to wear and what not to wear. I think it's fine to wear a dress and a blazer, but I mean, I just don't think that it makes you stand out. So I think for interpreters, you should wear a bright, bold color, but for a debater, I think you should keep it very conservative because I mean, that's what that's what they do like I mean they're very conservative and I also think that for jewelry you can't have dangly stuff like I mean I would wear my dangly charm bracelet and I ended up getting a comment from a judge saying that it was very distracting so um I stopped with that um and now I'm just wearing rings and earrings and that's fine um nothing too flashy because at the end of the day it all comes down to your performance and I think that wearing all that stuff is really distracting so that can knock you down um shoes I don't really like flats I don't I don't know your personal preference but I don't like them I think that um three to four inch heels is fine um if you can't walk in three to four inch heels I'll take two. <laughs> um, I think that's okay, but I, I, I don't like flats. Um, and I see now that interpreters are wearing jeans and like vans and it, it takes away from speech and debate because you go in there and you want to look professional. You want to look um, just put together. And I don't like jeans. Like I, I don't like that. And nobody on our team does that, but just saying. Um, hair. I think that your hair needs to be very neat. Um, it's fine to be in a ponytail, but as long as it doesn't like get in your face and it doesn't distract you, I think that you will be fine. The last important thing is tournament etiquette. As a novice, you really don't know what to expect at a tournament. I mean, people would be sleeping, people are doing their makeup, people are away from the table, um, people are just drinking coffee, people are talking to walls, people are just jumping and dancing around. And I mean, it's okay. Like, at first I was just like, whoa, like, these people are weird. But really, it's it's actually, like, pretty cool. Like, not really, but it, it you get used to it. And I think, I think that it gets easier as time goes on. Um, you just have to find your friends and stick with them. Yeah, just stick with them. Or just do your own thing. That's cool too. But anyway, um, I think that once you go to a tournament, you can bring blankets and pillows. But I mean, keep them at the table. Don't sleep in the hallway. I've done it before, trust me. But I've realized that it, it doesn't look very not professional but it just doesn't look good like because people know where you are and they and they know what school you go to so it's like ooh, that George Ranch girl like she's leaving in the hallway like, you know but um I don't know like I just think that you shouldn't sleep in the hallways um you should get enough sleep but another thing is I understand that you make friends and you um you you know make friends at tournaments and you talk to them and that's cool that's fine like go you like make friends you know like I mean I really can't make friends at debate tournaments but a lot of people can and that's good for you but please don't stray too far from the table because at 12 o'clock at night when everybody's trying to leave and you're super annoyed because your teammates are missing because their phones are dead stay close to the table Thank you. That is about it. Um, good luck on y'all's tournament season, and I hope y'all have a nice summer, because I sure will. Oh, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know you really didn't have a choice because this is a part of my grade, so <laughs> have a nice summer and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this is very helpful to you all. Thank you and have a nice day.